I do like this. So, hey, and welcome to Welcome Standard with Jed on uh, um, YouTube. And uh, can you tell us uh, who you are and uh, what your band name are? Yes, I said. And uh, yeah, I'm, my name is Henrik. I play the guitars and in a band called Endaken. Uh, we are a Danish band, thrash metal band. We uh, we just released our first album, and yeah, we're just very happy to be here with you, Seth. Okay, thanks. And uh, I am glad you accept my invite to my interview. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> everything for the scene. So. Yeah, and I do everything for the metal underground band. Cool. So, so. should I stop and uh, give you the question? Yeah. So, uh, how was the band format? Uh, it's a long story, actually. I'll try to do it short. Um, <laughs> the drummer and I, we played together uh, 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago, in a, in a band called Sinfonia. Uh, it's a Danish band. We made two albums in 2000 and 2001. Mm. And uh, then we disbanded. I moved to Italy for many years. When I got back to Denmark, we kind of talked with the band again. Let's try to start again with Sinfonia. Mm -hmm. And it was not very successful. So, well, Dennis and I, we, we really liked playing together again. And we just thought, well, we're going to try something else. Let's do something harder. Let's do some death or some thrash metal. And that's where it started. I wrote some songs. And then an old friend of Dennis, a very good guitarist, Anas, actually in the same time was alone writing some songs with himself. And he sent the songs to Dennis and said, hey, do you want to play some death thrash metal? And uh, we already started, Dennis and I. So we said, hey, it just fits together. It's the same material, same kind of music we are doing. So two guitarists and a drummer already with, with a lot of songs. So that's where it started. And then we looked for other musicians. And here we are. Yeah. So uh, how long have you be, uh, been playing with this band? Oh, we started actually already in 2017 uh, and we wrote all the songs the next two years and we but we didn't have a bass player or a singer for a long time especially the singer was very hard to find it's we are old and very experienced musicians old yeah. you know <laughs> but <laughs> you know we we have played so long time that we want somebody in our own age with the same experience and the same ambition, oh, you know, yeah. just easygoing professional people. So that's hard to find. Yeah, I but think it's year, very hard to find. Yeah, yeah. Last year we finally found the singer and then we recorded the album in two months and, and been waiting for Corona to get over to get it out. So, okay. so have you been in Sweden and played something? I have not myself in Darden. The band in Darden has only played one concert so far, uh, and that was uh, almost two weeks ago now. Um, was very good. It was so good. Uh, the best debut concert I have ever tried myself. Ooh. But uh, you know, cra crazy chaos with uh, uh, what do you call it? With wall of death and mush pit and circle pits and everything. It was yeah. chaos. So, but in in Sweden. Of course, we would love to play there. I never played there myself. Uh, I'm sure uh, Dennis has the drummer. He played with a, a Danish band called Hatespear. You might have heard of a thrash metal band. He, he used to play with them some years ago, and I know they played everywhere in Europe. So, mm. so if uh, my festival be, will be true, you coming to my festival of play? <laughs> of course, of course, <laughs> we would love to. We would love to. That's great. Yeah. So. How do you come up with the band name? <laughs> uh, coincidence. It was. <laughs> it's very difficult to find a band name right now because all the good names are taken, all the yeah, short yeah. names and so on. Mm -hmm. And one day we were Dennis and I. We were sitting together after a rehearsal, drinking a few beers, and we actually looked in. Uh, do you know the Swedish band called Firespawn? Yeah, I have heard of that. Yeah, with the uh, with the uh, LG Petrov, the singer who died now, the singer from Entombed, uh, rest in peace. Uh, mm. Well, we were looking in the cover of one of their albums and just looking at the lyrics, and I said, "Hey, look at this word in Darken. That sounds cool. I never heard about that before." <laughs> oh yeah, true. 
listeners have and nobody was called in dark as far as we knew and right now we actually learned there's a, a eastern european black metal band called in dark but mm. who cares two bands with that yeah. name it's okay it's not a big band and we we are going to be bigger anyway <laughs> but, but uh, i check on your spotify and i see you have uh, a lot of uh, followers uh, on your spotify oh yeah yeah it's going very well on spotify it's uh yeah we we just started with the first single uh, three months ago or something like that and then the album came out two weeks ago no three weeks ago yeah and uh yeah we are getting a lot of positive attention i also think we do have you know each of us do play or had played with other bands so we have a lot of contacts and and people following us and old fans and that are curious to hear what is this about so yeah it's it's going well and some very the first reviews we got are very very good so yeah and now you play your band in my metal radio <laughs> oh yeah that's yeah that's, that's the first radio show yeah that's the... yeah oh actually not true totally we uh they played a song in the biggest danish uh, radio show uh called the uh, sword soon the black sunday okay so, recently we didn't need to ask about it it was just like okay <laughs> so this is the first interview uh, the first interview no 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 the first live interview like this the first youtube okay. so ah uh, so i am first on youtube <laughs> yeah yeah true uh, that's great i i yeah. uh, how i say that i love to be first <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, cool. uh, uh, how how long you have uh, that you have told me Uh, when will the next album uh, or single be coming out? Uh, I mean, are you the, working about something new? Yeah, we are already writing new songs. Uh, we, yeah. we this album has been finished for more than a year, so there's another new mat- a lot of new material is waiting, you know. And I feel very inspired right now. So the next few months, I'm gonna write a lot of music. Mm. Uh, we actually do not have any concerts right now until next year because. Um, Our singer is becoming a dad very soon, yeah. uh, so so we're gonna you know lay low until he gets over the few first months. I mean, it's his first child; he needs to enjoy that. And uh, then, but then the next spring and winter, uh, you know, after New Year's Eve, we're gonna play a lot of concerts. And in the meantime, we're gonna we're gonna write the new album. So yeah. I think uh, maybe late next year, the new album is ready already. So okay. like a year after the first one. So it's fast. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. Uh, we are a new band, and we are we we have so much, you know, inspiration. So let's get it out. That, that's great. Uh, so who uh, write the song? It's me and the other guitarist. We are we are the main writers. Yeah. So normally it happens like this. I, if it you know, it's the same for both of us. Uh, I write a full song at home. I put some drums. You know, I program some drums that sound quite okay good you know with some good uh, software and i program bass and put guitars and kind of send it to the others and then we just everybody learns the song and we meet in the rehearsal room and then we do some final adjustments you know some arrangements okay. and in the day when the full basic song is is finished it's it's almost when it when i'm done with the song it's like 90% finished and then we finish it together and then the singer he he works on it and then we might do some other arrangements after that so Oh, so that's right. Uh, me and the the other guitarists write most of the stuff, and then the the other guys attack yeah. it. <laughs> okay, so you all made the song. Yeah, yeah, we do it together, but it's mostly me and Anas. We we take the first step. Yeah. Okay. Then I understand. So, how important is your music and your band for you? Oh, how important it is? Yeah. Uh, on a on a money level, it's not important. It's only expenses. <laughs> <laughs> so, on a on a personal level, this is the most important music I have done in my life so far. This is like I did. I myself did four albums: uh, two with Symphonia and two with uh, Chaos Wave. And then I did a lot of demos and you know small APs and whatever and with different bands. But this is the first time where I really feel this album is is kind of close to being not I would not say perfect, but there's nothing in it I regret. There's nothing I feel could be better. So mm-hmm. I think it's a very very solid band and very good musicians, good production, good 
artwork. Everything is just just as I like it to be. So this is the first time when I'm 100% proud of the product. Yeah. Uh, I'm also very proud of everything else I did, but it's, you know, there's always, when you grow up as a musician, there's always something, oh, I could have made that solo better or something. I mean, yeah. this time yeah. it's like, it's a very, very solid band. I mean, um, something to do with them, play, play for, and uh, then you'll be proud of that. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm always proud. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah but but this band is, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to the second album. I'm so curious to see what we can do because the first album was written, you know, we are starting to know each other. Now we are, we know each other and know yeah. what each other can do so we can really write some good stuff. So, ah, so. Uh, yeah. Now you don't play too fast, and the other one play too fast, and yeah, you know what, what I mean. Yeah, uh, no, so say again, please. I, I say so now you don't play too fast, and the other people, the other guitar uh, player, uh, just uh, don't um, play with you. No, no, yeah, exactly. Well, now we. We also know each other better. Yeah. I mean, I know what the other guitar player can do, and I know our style better. So the other guitarist as well. Everybody knows who we are, and the singer as well. The singer, as I told, he came in the band after a, after the whole record actually was finished. Mm -hmm. he, we had recorded everything, so he came to the band after everything was done and had to put vocals on it. Now we know how the vocals will sound and what he can do. He can sing with a clean voice and growl and scream and He's very good with rhythm and so on. So I now I'm I am thinking the singer in my music when I'm writing. That's mm. so cool. That I can understand. So uh, do you have some dream you want to go for a concert with your band? A, a concert? Yeah. A dream concert? Yeah. <laughs> right now it's just the next one. You know, mm -hmm. I, I after this first concert we did, well, it was so good and so fun. It's actually everybody in the band. Uh, I think I played myself. I played 200 concerts. I know Dennis, the drummer, played more than 500 mm -hmm. concerts in his life. And we played all over Europe, both of us. And we both said this has been one of the best concerts we ever did. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to what is the next one going to be? How how crazy will that be? Yeah. Uh, but the Green concert, of course, the Bakken or, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Copenhagen in Denmark. Copenhagen is a great festival. I would love to play there. I, or, I, I, you know, opening for one of the big bands, of mm. course. Opening for, for what do you know, uh, Slayer. That's impossible now. But, <laughs> but <laughs> like, Slayer is a great band. Yeah. It's that would be a good opening slot for us. I think we would warm up the, the crowd very well. So. Yeah. But impossible. So, so where do you see your band about five years? Oh, uh, I think in five years from now, we probably have made three or four albums, three albums, I guess, and hopefully playing some bigger festivals and a few tours. I don't think we will ever be living of this music. It's not possible, both because of the families and lives we have. I mean, four of the five band members have, five members have kids, so mm -hmm. it's difficult to do tours and so on. So. And again, it's a genre that there's not a lot of money, a lot of money in this yeah. music. So, so I, I think I think we're gonna be on a on a good label, record label, and I think we will be doing some very good festivals and some some good tours. But yeah, on a on a medium level, you know. And you need to come to Sweden and play. Don't forget that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Sweden, yeah. yeah. So you, we will come. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, yeah. So, uh, my question <laughs> are on the other monitor. So, uh, oh, it's okay. uh, uh, where do you record the uh, first album? Oh, well, we recorded uh, in Denmark, of course, but the drums were recorded at a studio called Deaf Island Studios. Yeah. It's in the north of Denmark, Deaf Island, like a, you know, Island. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and uh, it's actually an old friend of mine uh, who has the studio, Marco Andrioni. He's uh, he's the producer there. Uh, I used to play with him in Italy. He's an Italian, so uh, a very good musician and a good producer. He recorded the drums. Guitars and uh, bass were recorded at home. 
I recorded my guitars in my apartment and uh, Anna's recorded the bass and the guitars at his place. And uh, the vocals were recorded in our singer's rehearsal room. He did it alone. <laughs> Ooh. And, and then we so, the, so you record all the music at your home? Yeah, yeah. It's just easier and, and faster. We, we live all over Denmark, so we, don't, we cannot rehearse very often. Mm. Uh, we rehearse like uh, four times a year, five times a year we meet mm. to rehearse. So it's very um, it's difficult for us to meet. And we don't need to either. We are we have played so many years that we can do it from home. So okay. yeah, That's and the, the mix the mix was done by uh, Tua Messen at An and Farm Studios. He's very very uh, famous in the metal environment. He did Rob Halford and Sick About All and The Haunted. He did a lot of very good names, and mm -hmm. he did the whole mixing. You know, we sent after we did the drums there and the guitars there and the songs being singer here. You know. You sent everything to him, and he made it sound like a very good band. So oh, that's great. Uh, I think uh, if some make your sound great and very professional, you yeah. you like your band will be happy to come back to it. Uh, sorry, I had to hear I, that. I say your band will be happy and come back to some uh, make your band. Uh, Good music, uh, you know the sound. Understand? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, I say it's great to have some um, great. Uh, ah, it, it's, like, <laughs> it's okay. I, 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 maybe if I understand you right, it's 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 very nice to have. Uh, so good musicians that we don't have to meet and we can do it from home oh. and we we will uh, we like to meet each other of course and rehearse that's the best thing when you write music but it's also very relaxing to be able to say okay I have two hours now I can do some stuff and then I can get back to my family or I can go to work and do some more stuff because we all are very good uh, you know Uh, recording musicians as well. We have good uh, equipment at home, so we can do we can do it from home without problems. And yeah, the next album will be the same. I think we'll be more focused on uh, how do we sound in rehearsal room and and try to make it sound more live, even though we do it from home. But that's mm. that's a detail. It's, uh, it's yeah, it's a detail. So, uh, what are your songs about? What they are about? Yeah. Oh, is it, that's uh, the singer writes all the lyrics, but uh, they are mostly political uh, about uh, you know uh, abuse of power, abuse of money, abuse of the environment. But there's also a lot of uh, mental, uh, you know, uh, lyrics about mental problems of or, or personal problems that that might shine through. Um, It's a funny thing because I, there's one song he wrote called Insomnia. It's the third single. Mm -hmm. I, I do all the, the videos for the band. Uh, and uh, he wrote Insomnia and it was about something completely different. I can't even remember right now. Uh, I think it was just the lust of power, he told me. But my interpretation of that song was much more about uh, uh, anxiety and depression. That's how I read the lyrics. So he has some lyrics that are very open for interpretation. You know, you understand? Yes, I understand. I'm just sitting uh, quiet because I really want to listen on you. So that's yeah, why. Of course. No, no, no problem. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's it's uh, his lyrics they have. He, have uh, he writes lyrics with a specific topic in mind, but he tries to keep them open so you can interpret your own Uh, mm. idea of the lyrics and yeah that's cool so, i think so you are the um, movie maker yeah <laughs> and <laughs> the layout and the merchandise and everything mm. i am i work with ic i work with the uh, graphics i, so I am uh, working uh, like a, a graphic artist here in sweden uh, so okay you know <laughs> <laughs> cool uh, uh, yeah. i'm actually more of a programmer and more of a nerd you know uh, I'm not very good with graphics. I, I know my way around and I did some cool videos, but like the cover itself was made by an American artist called Jeff 
Christensen. He's a mm. he's a painter. So the cover of the album is a is a painting actually. Okay. And then I took that and used it for the layout, and I did all the layout and so on. So if you want, I can send uh, some picture after the interview. Sorry. If you want, I can send some p picture after the interview. Yeah, yeah, of course, thanks. Yeah. So, so uh, uh, <laughs> my question is start to be end. <laughs> yeah. And so. Uh, what make your band stand uh, from the crowd? Oh, you have to say that again. I say, what make your band stand from the crowd? Oh, what makes us different? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> 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 no, no, I think it's... Uh, we never try to be different. We try to be ourselves, which I think is different. Okay. Because a lot of music these days is they try so hard actually sometimes to be, you know, more genty than the gent bands or more metalcore than the other metalcore bands. We just write music we like to hear and play. And I think uh, if you want to stand out, you should never think about being different or standing out. You should just write from your heart. I mean, I'm my heart is different than any other people in the world. So if I write something that comes from me as a person, maybe it's not original, but it's my stuff. Yeah. Uh, so as long as we like what we're doing, I'm sure it's going to be different at some point. Objectively speaking, to be more, if I had to kind of be, you know, the reviewer or be more objective, I would say one of the things that we are good at is to, I, after the first live show, I'm sure we are going to be a very great, great live band. All of us have a lot of experience, so we are going to, have some good parties when we play live. That's one mm -hmm. thing. And yeah. yeah. I think the other thing is we play very well live as well. We play mm -hmm. uh, music as it is on the album. Not not we do mistakes and we don't use the metronome live or anything. We just you know explode on stage. But it's a uh, good musicians having a great great time. I, I think that's different. <laughs> yeah and that, that and I think it's good different. Yeah. So that was my uh uh, and question, the last question. So, do you want to say anything to everyone uh, who wants to see this movie? Of course. First of all, I want to thank you. Ah, thanks. It's, it's uh, very nice. Uh, every interview is is great, and uh, everybody who wants to do this, you know, we are we're working here, both of us, for free. Yeah. We're not getting anything of this. It's just for the pleasure of it, supporting the scene. That's great. I mean, so thank you, Seth. And to everybody watching out there, well, I don't know where my camera is, but <laughs> to everybody watching, thank you for listening until now. And uh, yeah, support set and support in Darken, support the scene. Yeah. A great exactly. day.